We're going to work with the translation, but we're going to translate by a vector. Again, a translation is a slide, and we need to know how far and the direction we're sliding. And that is what the vector will tell us, how far and what direction. So here we have our triangle, and we have a vector. It's an arrow and it has a direction. The direction is exactly that way. And it's got a how far, and if we measure it, it is made to be three centimeters. Our job is to slide this three centimeters that way, so we need to be working parallel. So you gotta find some ways to draw parallel lines to that. So you could use the edges of the ruler, and because you wanna draw parallels at each vertex, A, B, C. So you can move each dot three centimeters parallel. Um, the ruler also has some, has some ridges that are parallel. You might have a protractor that's got some nice sets of parallels. We've got this edge and this edge along with this line here. Whatever you can do to get your parallels. You can't just eyeball three parallels. You need to get some temporaries in there. So let's work on this one. Now I'm going to try and move it, move my parallel, and see how far I can move it. And again, I've got three lines I can work with. That doesn't quite get me there, but I'm going to draw some light temporaries, and maybe then I can get to it from, a, from another one. See, that gets me a little too far, but that almost gets me to B. So let's draw that temporary also. We're trying to draw we're trying to find a way to get to the corners and be parallel. Can I get to A? No. Too far to A. Oh, that's almost right on A. So boom. There's one right at A. Now can we go from A to get over here? That's gonna be the next question. Can I go from this line? Yeah, it didn't get me very much better. <laughs> again, drawing some temporaries. And again, then that's all to let you eyeball some stuff. But now the eyeballing is much better. You got all these lines to look at to make sure you are parallel. That is almost C. Oh, so close. Can I jump over to B? Yes, I can. Nope, not quite. But if we look at these lines, they are all parallel. So I'm at A, we need to get to B or C. That gets me a little far from C, but not quite to B. Closer to B. Doom, 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 doom. Well, let's draw, let's draw it past it. Let's see what we got. Maybe I can get them back to C with that one. Alrighty. If I can work back and forth, we should be able to get somewhere. Oh, or, you know, I said we can't eyeball, but at some point in time, we might have to rough one in. And it's so close to one that we can still see all the parallels and we got lines to, to judge by. That's a pretty good line for C. And if I use C, oh the C gets me right to B, doesn't it? Almost. Slide it up a little and we are at B. So we've got some three pretty good parallel lines. We got one at B, one at C, and then we got this one at A. I'll make this one darker now. And we need to measure three centimeters away. Three centimeters, that's where A prime is. Three centimeters from C. 
because our vector was three centimeters C prime and our vector from B three centimeters now the vector can be drawn anywhere on the paper doesn't matter it's just it can be over here can be over here you gotta move the parallels so we connect the dots now connect the vertex connect them we should have a twin pretty good and other way to think about it we just drew a triangular prism we've got a 3d shape now and that's what it should look like when you're done it should look like a nice 3d shape so we're sliding and we're parallel so we had a vector we had to draw some lines parallel to there three ideally but we're never going to get just three so draw a bunch of temporaries to let you jump back and forth and get parallel and if it looks like a nice 3D prism, you did a good job.